Well, he might not be the greatest yet, but he's certainly the youngest in the Premier League at the moment. 31-year-old Fabian Oetzler has made a brilliant start since replacing Roberto De Zerbi at Brighton. He's guided them to wins over Everton and Manchester United and a draw away to Arsenal. The Brighton owner Tony Bloom has been very impressed with what he's seen. I see a lot of his philosophy there, both you know in the pre-season and you know when, when I had many discussions with him in pre-season about what he's trying to do. Uh, and it's not a surprise that he's fitted in well into the Premier League, fitted in well in, into our environment here at Brighton and at Albion Football Club. But I am surprised about how quickly and how well he has settled. I mean, it is still a very big move. He's only been um, been a head coach of professional football team for 18 months in, in the second division in the Bundesliga. So to come from that, and he did obviously so well there, into the Premier League, the toughest league in the world, um, you know, it has been a really exceptional uh, progression. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited for him and, and for the team of what, what we can achieve, not just this season, but beyond as well. It's been a lot of change, uh, particularly in terms of you know, personnel, which is credit to him, isn't it, to deal with players going out, a lot of players coming in. Um, just tell us a little bit about the summer in terms of the transfer window, because obviously a few eyebrows raised about the amount of money that the Albion, nearly £200 million pounds spent. Um, tell us a bit about how you see that, that strategy, and was that something that you, you know, envisaged doing even before the window had started to spend that amount of money? Well, certainly at the start of the window, we knew there were going to be opportunities. We knew there was going to be uh, quite a few incomings, quite a few changes. Probably didn't envisage quite as much. You never quite know how a transfer into work will transpire. The players you want to bring in, are they going to be within budget? Are they going to be available? But I think the circumstances ha has allowed this, you know, the PSR issues of other clubs um, is well known. Perhaps other... Um, bigger clubs on the continent haven't quite got uh, the budgets uh, to compete with some of the Premier League teams. So some of the players which perhaps wouldn't have been available to us in the past have became, become available. And, and, and the way our transfers have worked, um, you know, in the last two or three windows, we may have lost some key players, haven't always been able to replace those ones straight away. You know, going forwards, we probably won't see anything like that in the next two or three transfer windows, because if we do lose um, some key players in, in future windows, we will hopefully have uh, players coming through, the younger players within the squad at the moment, or players that we've invested in the last couple of years coming through, or our academy players. How do you feel about the potential changes to PSR and the, the, the way it's going forward? Everything can always be improved and it's always good to sort of look at the systems. So hopefully over the next few months, the Premier League will vote on, on the new rules for, for next season. I think it makes sense. I think everyone's asking for to have things more real time rather than having sanctions based on the previous se season. And no one's, no, no one's a fan of, of points deductions as well. They can still happen, but with the real time nature of what the new rules will look like, I think I think the fans will understand things better and I think it will be better for the Premier League as a whole.